Hello everybody and welcome to a taste test adventure. My name is Chris and today I'm here at McDonald's and I'm going to be trying some dishes that have been brought over to the U.S. from international McDonald's locations. I'm excited to try these. They sound pretty interesting. So let's head inside out of the rain and see what they got. So we're here at the McDonald's kiosk and one of the options they have is worldwide favorites. If you click here, they have different options from different countries. So from Spain, they have the Grand Mick Extreme Bacon Burger. It's got bacon, sauce, special sauce, grilled onions, and smoked Gouda cheese. It looks really good. Um, next we have from Canada, the tomato and mozzarella bacon, or not bacon, crispy chicken sandwich. Um, I'm going to add one of these to my menu. And then next up, I'm gonna add the cheesy bacon fries. These already existed. They have them temporarily in the US, but they're from Australia. They're delicious, so I figure if I'm gonna complete the, uh, the challenge, not the challenge, but if I'm gonna have the full menu, I gotta have that. And then last, but certainly at least, the Stoop Waffle McFlurry. We're gonna add that to the menu as well. And then just for kicks, they have some other interesting things. Uh, these slushes are new. Uh, I'm going to get a blue raspberry slush. And there we go. We got international food plus a blue raspberry slush. Should be fun. So it's not a cheap day at McDonald's if you want to try all these yourself. Here's my receipt. Grand total with the slush was $20. So not a cheap meal, but hey. It's for you, the fans. It's worth paying 20 bucks to give you a proper review. I'm excited. Okay, so I have all the food in front of me. Um, so I'm representing four different countries worth of food here. Um, first off, from the Netherlands, we have the Stroop Waffle McFlurry. It smells amazing. From Australia, we have the cheesy bacon fries, which I have already had, but they're delicious and give me another excuse to have cheesy bacon fries. Why would I not? Um, next, we have the extreme bacon, Mc, or extreme McBacon something. It's a burger from Spain. From Canada, we have the tomato mozzarella chicken. And then from the good old U.S. of A, a blue raspberry Minute Maid freeze. I'm going to try that first. Not bad. It's a nice, refreshing blue raspberry freeze. Um, so McDonald's hasn't been known for doing freezes before. So if you're looking for a good freeze and you're already going to McDonald's, it's a pretty solid one. Okay. Now where to start? All of these look good. I'm gonna start with the one that I know I've done before, which is the cheesy bacon fries. Because you can't really go wrong with McDonald's fries covered in cheese and bacon. Here's a nice collection of them. Bottoms up. Not nearly as good as the first time I had them. And the main reason was the bacon is not super crispy. It's like bacon bits. It's definitely on the softer side. It's still McDonald's fries covered in cheese and bacon. You can't really go wrong. All right, next I'm gonna try a burger. Mick Extreme Bacon Burger. It's got smoked Gouda cheese, a special sauce, and bacon. I don't know what else there is to say. This sounds fantastic. Let's try it out. Bottoms up. Okay, Spain. You know what's up when it comes to burgers. This one's tasty. Um, the smoked Gouda actually adds a nice extra like smokiness to the burger. The sauce is really good. 
I'm not pinpointing what it is. It's definitely something different than what you used to with a burger. Take one more bite. The sauce is very bacony, which is probably why it's called the Mick Extreme Bacon Burger. Cause it's got bacon sauce, bacon, and then the smoked cheddar cheese. So it has a really nice, rich, smoky flavor. Um, it's really good. And it's something that's kind of different from what you're used to at McDonald's. So I approve of that one. I think it's really solid. Next from the Great White North, we have the tomato herb chicken sandwich with smoke with mozzarella on it. This is a big old honking piece of chicken. And it's got a special tomato herb sauce. Let's see how it is. It smells good. Let's try it out. Bottoms up. That's really good. And the mozzarella adds a nice creamy element to it. The sauce adds a nice herbaceousness. Um, it's not overly strong tomato flavor, but it's enough where you, you get the gist of it. So this doesn't taste like a chicken parmesan or anything like that. Um, it's good though. And the artisanal roll adds a lot to it. So good choice, Canada. Last but certainly not least, Represent the Netherlands. We have this waffle McFlurry. Look at that. That looks quite delicious. Let's try it out. I feel I was gonna be chewing on that for a very long time. It's definitely got an interesting flavor. Uh, the, the crumbly waffle bits and the caramel have a nice taste to them. They're just really hard, especially the caramel. It's not like, it's not like warm caramel. So it's tough to chew when you get into it. Let me take one more bite. So overall, it's a good flavor. Very caramely. The, um, the waffle bits have a nice texture, although I think it's a little hard to chew. It takes you a minute to get through. I do have sensitive teeth, so that might be part of it, but um, it's got a good flavor to it. So overall, all four of these dishes are definitely worth trying. Especially if you're a big fan of McDonald's, I'd say give them all a shot. I had to put them in order based on favorite to least favorite. I like the McFlurry. It's a good McFlurry. I don't think it's anything like outstanding that you have to try. So I'd probably put this at the bottom. Sorry, McFlurry. Um, second is going to be the chicken. I think it's good, but it's not super different and it's not anything revolutionary. It's just a solid chicken sandwich. You can get it uh, grilled or fried, by the way. I got it fried because grilled chicken is often hit or miss at fast food places. But uh, it was pretty good fried. Number two, even though this iteration was not the best that I've seen, the cheesy bacon fries are fantastic. Definitely worth your time if you missed them the first time they were here. And then number one is this Mick Extreme Bacon Burger. It's really tasty. Definitely something a little bit different than what you would normally get at McDonald's. Honorable mention goes to my little blue raspberry slush. It's flavorful, it's a good blue raspberry slush, but again, nothing earth shatteringly good. And that is gonna do it for this taste test adventure where I try the entire World Ride favorites menu at McDonald's. Hope you enjoyed it. Look for plenty more episodes throughout the rest of the year and uh, plenty more taste test adventures in some pretty interesting places, hopefully. Um, so that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time on Taste Test Adventures. Bye.